Well, good morning, everybody. It's wee Paddy. From across a shock in a miserable Sunday morning in wee Ireland. It's uh, drizzling with rain, it's murky looking, and uh, I could think of nothing better that I want to do. I'm just going to adjust my wee thing here so it's straight. It's looking skew wet. Um, I could think of nothing better to do than to make a wee video this morning. And last night, I gave you the choice of, th it was about three or four knives, and uh, to pick which one you would like to review this morning and unanimously it was the Boker Plus Tech Tool it's a Tech Tool 2 that was given to me as a present I only got it um when did I get it Fr I think it was Friday Friday or so yeah Friday I think it was Friday I got it um and it was a gift from Joe over at Messer HQ Again, a, a great channel. I'll put a link down below. Um, there's a link in yesterday's video. But it was a kind gift. And I'm going to say this at the outset. Joe, I appreciate the gift 100%. But and, and he wouldn't expect anything less. I know Joe myself. Um, I'm not a great man for um, sack Swiss Army knives and things like that. I've had them and I didn't really um, get on with them. Sadly, I, I I haven't. There's too many things about this that doesn't sit in my wheelhouse, and I just want to apologise. I love the tool, and I'll be using it for um to show in the future what it's like and what they're for. And and I know there's people love all this sort of stuff. It's not particularly for me, and I want to explain why. Um, and I I believe there are genuine reasons why. This is not a tool that I would particularly carry on me. It's nice for a tool to have sitting on my desk to use around the house. And that is the truth of it. But it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be something I would carry as part of my EDC. But it would be something I will have on the desk here. And I will use around the desk. You know, for opening mail, for doing whatever. Um, it's very nice. I find with these tools, uh, enough like the Swiss Army, there's so many little tools on them that I don't ever use or i would never see me using that i don't see it doesn't fit into my lifestyle let's put it like that for instance uh sorry i'm going off on one already let's just <laughs> calm down Stephen. it's a sunday morning now i'll tell you what let's just start with the first thing and that is the weight of it now i'm going to bring this out for you to see and we're in ounces and it weighs just under three, th just under three ounces, two point nine seven. So we'll take that in grams, and that's eighty four grams. So it doesn't weigh a whole lot, but it's still, do you know, it still weighs more than most of my everyday carry knives. Um, but we'll we'll, we'll see this. The one thing I do love on this. And I'd sort of showed, I've done a, a picture this morning, I'll just get it out now, was the blade. It's a lovely, now it's a, it's a lovely hollow grind, which is really nice. Very thin behind the edge, great cutter. And I've done a picture this morning on Instagram. And I put these two knives on Instagram this morning. Look how similar the blade shape is. But this is my first fault with, um... With Tech Tool in particular, and I, although I'm, I'm trying to think back when I had the sack, I don't think it was as bad with the sack. But the one thing that I'm not over keen on, right, let me just show you. I'll give you for instance. Here we are. This is my lovely Lion Steel. Now, this is a slip joint. I like a slip joint that gives you. Um, a little bit of safety. It's not completely safe, but it's a little bit. Can you see here? Now, a, a lot of my slip joints, you will find on most of my slip joints, especially the ones I'm going to carry, if that slips, that just sticks into my finger. Yeah, I can push that up. On the tech tool, there is nowhere. If this goes, I'm cut. There is nowhere for it to go. There is no option. And this is not, it's not loose, but it's not a particularly stiff. 
you know, um, slip joints do give every now and then, especially if you're doing a bit of hard and you'll come back. You, you go like that and your natural reaction is to pull your hand back. And that's when you get in trouble with slip joints. So that's why I always like a slip joint where I can get a finger up here so that if it goes, I can prevent it from cutting me. So that's the first sort of downer for, for tech tool. I think all their blades are the same, although they're a beautiful blade. And it's actually so thin behind the edge. It really is beautiful. A wee bit of receipt paper here. It cuts. It's just a dream. Now, I had to give it a wee sharpen. There was a wee nick in it now at the top of the blade, but it took two seconds to sharpen it. Um, because it's the 12C... Uh, was it 12C28? Yeah, 12C28. Um... Sandvik steel. So it's a lovely blade steel. It's easy to sharpen. It's a hollow grind. It's so thin here. It is absolutely beautiful. That The only downside is that once it closes, it's going to cut. Now, the other thing that... Right, you have a bot. Right, let me just get this, this clear to people's heads. I don't drink, so I think the last time I opened a bottle of wine was in the 80s and that's genuine it was, in, it was in the 80s when I stopped drinking 1989 I haven't opened a bottle of wine since so that's completely now you can change it out but this is another thing with tech tool uh, I don't know whether you can buy the spare parts to change this out maybe you can and that would be something I would be interested in to do that a bottle opener I cannot remember the last time. Again, I don't drink. It's the only bottles now that have the lifter caps on them. So that's completely useless as a tool to me. The wire stripper in these, personally, and i done my basic training as an electrician, so I wouldn't use that ever to do strip wire. That's handy, the flathead screwdriver, but more so probably as a pry bar. <laughs> Did you know what I mean? I would end up using that as a pry bar. The other side of it is a belt cutter. It sits at a really weird angle. Um, it's got a screwdriver at the top. But now, last night I went on to Joe's channel and had a wee look at his review. And, and this I probably wouldn't have found out in the short space of time I've had to use it. If you're using this as a screwdriver, it sits at that odd shape and it can fold very easily and you would cut yourself because not only is that a screwdriver, this is actually quite an effective and this part of the tool I did I did like. Um you know as a rope cutter it's it's actually really quite effective. I haven't tried to cut paper with it but I'm going to now. I mean, it is quite sharp. Look at that. It is quite sharp and it does cut rope really well. So, again, that's a bit dangerous. So, would I use that? Probably not. Probably not. I might use it for just to loosen a wee screw or something. But as for taking it out fully, beautiful pocket clip. Love the G10 on the handle. The pocket clip makes it um, perfect for everyday carry. But for me, that... that blade not having the get out on the blade it's just a no-no for me um slip joints I, I just love slip joints as you know but i'm trying to think of other ones that i have here here's another right let me just see most of the slip joints that i would have that's the one thing i look for in the slip joint is a way out here's a gec again i can get my fingers up the top if it closes i've got control that for to carry a slip joint that's going to be worth its salt to me and at everyday use it would have to have that and that would be the minimum requirement sadly it doesn't have it and you know it's a lovely package and it's so near it's so near like if they had a, a star screwdriver on here if they if this belt cutter was straight it's all ifs and buts and as a knife, you know, I, I will use it. It's not that it's not going to get used. And I really am coming across as a, a downer on tech tool. But it's just, 
you know, I'm trying to be honest uh, on a review. I can't, and this is strange, I'm poor Joe, God love me, sent me it over as a gift, but he, he wouldn't want me to tell fibs. That's not what we do as reviewers. I have the wee Gerber dime, and the reason I like this wee Gerber dime is not the knife, because as a secondary knife, I don't need anything great. I would never carry this alone. No matter if it was the best in the whole wide world, I would never carry this alone. I'll always have another knife. Or two. So the knife, even on this, wouldn't be extremely important because I've always got another knife. A multi-tool that I want to carry has got a pair of pliers. I constantly use pliers. Now, this little multi-tool has scissors. It has... A knife blade, which, well, this is a wee box opener. That's absolutely brilliant, I may add. Let me go back over here. It has a wee knife. Now, that wee knife, there's no escape route on it. But when I'm holding this, I would hold it like that. And it's just, when I'm using this, it's just to cut a cord or a bit of string. That's all I would ever use that knife for. And it's sharp and it's a good wee knife. But it also has the pair of scissors on it. Oh, sorry, it has a pair of scissors. So it has things that I'm going to use on a regular basis. And it is a lot smaller and easier in the pocket than the tech tool. So that will probably be staying in my pocket. It, I, I think this is a brilliant tool. So many people told me before I got this that Gerber were rubbish and it'll break. It's no good for nothing. I think this is a stunning little tool for all the price that I paid for it. I mean, this is not cheap. And I think that's why I'm being honest that this is about £36 over here. So it's not a cheap bit of equipment. To me, um, and to me, after all the time they've been they've been using them, now there's a glass breaker at the end of it as well. Again, I don't know. Yeah, I've never had to use one, but I suppose it's nice to have. There's no doubt about it. But this here just drops in the bottom of my pocket. I know this is clipped on, and you know that is brilliant. I do love the deep pocket carry clip. That is the the big plus. The blade shape is beautiful. The other tools, I just wouldn't use them to be honest with you. I just wouldn't use them on a a regular basis that would make me want to carry it. This is just for everyday use around the home or if I'm just popping down the town. If I'm going anywhere where I believe that I'm going to need a tool, there's a Leatherman. That's what I'll use. I carry a Leatherman Pulse, which is about the same thickness as this. It's actually less thick because this has a pocket clip, but, you know, it's not that much bigger. It's the same sort of thickness as this knife. If you can see them there together, they're about, you know, there's not much difference in thickness and size. The Leatherman is much heavier and it comes in a belt sheath so you don't feel the weight. But this has everything I'm going to want. You know, from scissors to a really good lockable knife. The, and I, I know that's... Um, even in this country, the lockable knife's probably, it's not legal. But when it's on a multi-tool... The police are not going to stop you for a multi-tool, do you know what I mean? I have never come across one anyway that would stop me for a multi-tool. But it's against the law, so you have to factor that it would be against the law. Um, this is my little multi-tool of choice. This is a an oh-so-nearly perfect little multi-tool. If they up the grade of their, their tools... Now, bottle openers, I can understand that other people will use a bottle opener. And the flathead screwdriver. And and I probably would use the flathead screwdriver. I wouldn't use this other screwdriver. And I wouldn't have known that, to be honest, if it wasn't for Joe being honest in his review and showing how that works. The wee belt cutter works fine, but straighten it up. Why keep it at that angle and then put a screwdriver on it? You know, it makes sense when you when Joe showed it. I thought, oh, gosh, why didn't I think of that? But then again, I don't think of a lot of things. Um... And then they go and do like details like here. They give you a, a lanyard hole when you've got a pocket clip. And I'm going, well, why? <laughs> what? Give me, give me a, a star head screwdriver. How many people actually use 
um, bottle openers. Maybe you can tell me that it's something you'd use on a regular basis. I don't know, maybe I'm out of that loop completely. But there we go. A beautifully made tool, a beautifully put together. I just think it needs a bit more thinking. One for the, this is this is the safety aspect. If you're going to take, that is a really good size blade. That could do a lot of work. Either make it locking or make it where you can get your finger up and give yourself some security that if it does close over. Because you'd want to use this blade. This is not like the little blade on this here where it would only be used to cut a piece of thread. When you put these together and you see the difference in size. Let me just get this out and show you. Right. <laughs> Look at the difference in size of the blades. So that, you know, this is a cracking blade. Great shape. They just have to either extend it or bring this up so that you've got somewhere that your finger can get in and give you a bit of protection. Much, you know, that is a working blade. This isn't, this is just for nipping wee bits of thread. That's what that's used for. And my main knife will do everything else. But uh, as I say, this is a cracking little tool. Uh, much, much cheaper than than this and although i just uh, joe i really do appreciate it it's a great gift and i'm sorry for having such a downer on it it's just, it's so near but so far i love that blade i love the g10 handle i love the pocket clip it's the tools and this is what i find with a lot of these these tools i don't think they ask people what they actually use before they put them on it i mean Surely they, the, the, well, ho hopefully over time, tech tool are not that, that long around. Hopefully over time, they'll, they'll take suggestions from people who do reviews of their tool and, uh, and let you know. So I'm going to give you just a size comparison of that knife because that knife is about, let me say, the, the actual cutting blade is just over two and a half inches. It's about two and three quarters long, but two and a, just over two and a half inches of cutting blade, which is really good. Let me see what length it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half inches roughly. Um, do you know what's, and what's that? I better do the, the other side of it. It is about nine or about 16 and a half nine about <laughs> about 16 and a half centimeters with a blade length of about seven just over seven centimeters so i mean it's uk legal there's no doubt about it um i i just think it's such a shame because as soon as i opened that i thought oh what a lovely blade and then i was actually cutting a bit of cardboard and do you know sometimes when you cut and you come back and i hit the cardboard and it went like that and i thought oh no fingers <laughs> So there we go. Now, so I'm sorry. It, for me, you know, it's not a knife for me, but I can see why other people who would use the tools, this would be a lovely knife. Maybe those who are a bit more careful than I am. I'm not a particularly careful person. The blade might not be such a scary thing for them, but for me it is because I'm so blooming careless. <laughs> Joe, I, I, I really do. Let's did I give you let's give you some just a couple of wee comparisons of size. Um there's the rat D2. Uh the rat 2 D2. Um something else in the same size comparison. There we go. There's the Kershaw. I forgot the blooming name of that now. Kershaw, what is it called? There's the the Spiderco Delica. But, I mean, they're all just that little bit bigger than it. But it is a, you know, it's a very good size blade. That's the shame for me, is that either make that lock in um, or move this up. Give the choil, move that up a bit so I can get my finger in there and get just not complete safety, but a little bit of safety. Have I gone on long enough? Have <laughs> I prattled on long enough? Are you bored yet? <laughs> right, that's it. I'm away. Thank you so much for listening. All the very best. We Patty. Joe, thank you again. I really do appreciate it. It mightn't sound it, but I actually do. And I hope you uh, believe that. Take care. Bye now.